Far Cry 3 is a big contender for game of the year, but even the best games need some tweets from the modern community to tailor them to everyone's individual tastes and needs. That's why I have put together a list of the top 10 Far Cry 3 mods, as well as installation tutorials for each individual mod. Now the main thing to note is that mods in Far Cry 3 come in three different varieties. There are patch files, which do exactly what you expect them to do, and they patch the game. These are probably the easiest installation things to do, um, as you just drag them over and replace them. But the bad thing is you can only have one at a time, because as you can imagine, it patches the game, and you can't have more than one patch out at a time. So um, keep that in mind if you want multiple files. The second type of mod is the hex files. Now these will require you to edit the code of certain files, which might sound a bit more complicated than the other one, but trust me, it's pretty damn simple. And then there's the bog standard swap into files, uh, where you need to swap certain files, like item 1 with item B, and stuff like that. And these mods are only for PC, no Xbox and no PS3, just keep that in mind if you want that because um, Xbox and PC don't let you do mods like missions or textures or anything. You, it will let you do XP and shit but that's not what this tutorial is about. And this top 10 is about. First up we have better sights. This is a mod that's going to enhance your sights and make it easier to aim and make your guns a bit more better in the precision aspects. Um, it's downloaded from the Ubisoft forms. There'll be a link in the description for every mod, so I'll say like mod 1, whatever. And um, how you download it is this one's a patch file, like I mentioned before. And um, you can only have one of these active at a time. It's in the Ubisoft directory, so you go Ubisoft Far Cry 3 Data Win 32. Again, you just follow my directory, it'll get there again. So there's it, it's already downloaded. And you just drag it over to this little thing. It'll say you want to replace yes and yes. You can only have one patch mod at a time. Here's the comparison shot so you can see what they're like, and here's it in action. Lovely stuff. Number two is attachments mod. This one adds many more attachments to guns, as well as attachments you get later on in the game to earlier items like the M1911. So you just go to here, and then you just download it from the patch and the raw. I downloaded both, raw then patch, just to be safe, but you just do the same thing, drag them over, replace them, you can have one at a time, so you'd be replacing the one you had before. Um, so yes, and here's what you have. You have marksman, you have optical, you have red dot, you have reflex on the M1911. Stuff you would not have before, you would not have any attachments on before. Sniper rifle, SVD, customize, you can see you have a luminate scope, a high power scope, a standard and sound suppressor. All these are good because I've been wanting to have a sound suppressor on my sniper for so long, it will help out with the let's play as well. Here we have Heraclusions mod, I think I pronounced that wrong but still, I don't give a gam. Um, this one helps when you're aiming, it kind of Change the FOV, so when you look down a scope, you don't just see through the scope, you see around the scope. It's a bit hard to explain, but you kind of see the area around it. It's blurred out, but it helps see where enemies are going to cover, because otherwise it'd just be like a black circle. Um, this one is a hex mod, I believe, and I'll show you how to download that now. And as you can see, you don't just see through the scope, you see the area outside it. Minimap removal is another cool one. This one is for people who want to have a more realistic Far Cry experience and kind of minimalist. It helps with kind of getting into the game. As you can see the minimap's gone and the health bars are grayed out and a lot of the UI has been gone. It's kind of a UI overhaul if you will. It lets you see more of the island and more of the enemies around you. So it's a really good thing to have downloaded one of them or one mod that I'm going to keep forever or as long as I can. It's a patch file again so what you do is you just drag it across. Don't worry not all of the um, mods are patch files. Drag it across, boot up Far Cry and as you can see, the map's gone and we can see more stuff. Really, really cool mod to have on. Ultra Low Configuration is another mod that it's one of my favourites actually because this will strip down graphics, not too much by the way, and um, favour smooth running for smooth textures. Or maybe the opposite way around. But still, it's a really good thing. I got 30 FPS boost with this mod, so uh, yes. It's a patch file once again, so you just drag it across, it'll replace the other ones. But for 30 FPS, I mean, come on, it's really good. It'll help out with the let's play I'm doing as well because I was getting horrible FPS on that. Uh, you won't notice it as much when I'm recording because I'm using fraps and that kind of caps the FPS. But yeah, it's good. Stop object blinking is another one for all the people who favour realism and all that. This one will stop the annoying blinking on enemies when they have been shot or on um, kind of creatures when they have skins or plants when they can be planted. This one's a hex mod, so uh, what you do is you replace certain codes. Now you need to drag over the Far Cry 3 dig 3 dll It's in the same directory, so you just drag it across on the white one. You have to have HSD downloaded, drag it on the white bit, and then you do a replace tool. Replace the two bits of code that I've had up before. Save it, 
drag it back over and you will get this. As you can see, this is a plant we can kind of gather, but it's not flashing. Good. Improved weapon holster is one that lets you unquip weapons and kind of run freehand. It's good for when you're going up hills and climbing mountains and just doing shit like that. Because let's be honest, you wouldn't climb a mountain you, with an AK in your hand. It'd be a bit dangerous. You, you'd holster it. So it's another hex mod. Uh, you look at the two codes, search this hex array, and you just search for that one and then replace. So you just use the replace tool. Uh, at least that's what I did. So file. And you're good to go. And here we have it. Let's go test it out. As you can see, I'm running freehand. I have no guns to worry about. Don't go a nice little jog. Let's go look at this little abandoned boat. Nice. Nice stuff. Um, mix mod is a one that kind of affects the economy and all that good stuff. It's a mix of mods. Um, all Elite Gears now cost you full large gear. It adds a tribal knife. Um, rebalanced weapons. New Kevlar health synergy will cost you a thousand. And you pay for full modded weapons, not just for mods. It's a really good idea. Um, it's a patch file, so you can only have this activated. Not any other ones, but what you do, as I've said multiple times in this little tutorial slash top 10, is you just drag it across, move and replace. Drag then, you just put them over here, move and replace, move and replace. Click that, and here we go. As you can see, most of the items in the shop have had a price increase. Um, if we go down to consumables, maps, all increased. It kind of makes the game a bit harder, it makes it harder to buy items, save up, and yeah, you get a new tribal knife, which is another nice add on. So we'll equip them that tribal knife. One weird thing is, though, it makes you go super fast. Not sure if that's like, it's supposed to be like that, but it's pretty damn cool. Improved weapon ballistics is another one, and this makes um, Far Cry 3 a bit more armor esque. And by that, I mean, when you shoot a gun, it's gonna have kind of realistic recoil, so it'll fly upwards and it'll do all those good things. Move and replace, move and replace as per usual with patch file. Here we go. We'll try it out on these semi-willing test subjects. So I mean, shoot up and the actual gun goes upwards like that. It's uh, quite a nice add-on. Oh, he's trying to escape. Oh well, we'll let him. And then we have new crafting and economy. So you download from this website, like I said, there'll be a link. And what this does is it makes kind of crafting different like you'll have to have more skins to make certain things like crocodile skins otherwise would be totally useless but now you use them for different stuff so I'm on the crafting menu here loot root sacks if we go on to rugged you can see it uses Komodo dragon skins to put that simple wallet uses leopard skin loot root sacks so yeah everything has more items necessary which kind of helps because a lot of the skins were beforehand quite down useless so that's all the mods, if you disagree with any, if you have any alternatives then please feel free to comment below and if you come across any problems then also come and send me a message and I'll do my best to help you out. This has been a top 10 Far Cry 3 mods and hopefully you enjoyed this video.